Volin. Hey guys, it's yours truly, Music Loose here. Hey guys, it's Lula Lee with the Go Gamers here, and we are here for another weekly Phoenix Lee Phoenix Tavern episode. Yep, we officially have named it a Phoenix Tavern, not Cavern. Have tavern with a T. <laughs> uh, uh, and this is going to be a bit of a longer episode, but I can promise you, I'm going to tell you right now ahead of time, we're going to be doing another one next week for the anniversary, and that one's going to be much, much longer. And we're going to be doing that one live, so just a heads up if you guys want to tune in next Wednesday. You might want to catch this if you have any CFE's memories. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah. So for All right. so there's gonna be there's gonna be a lot in this one. Um, this is a retake of our episode, by the way. Um, which on average, this whole thing's gonna be about an hour. So if you don't have an hour, uh. Might want to just skip to whatever important parts. Uh, we'll uh, gladly put timestamps down if uh, that makes you feel better. <laughs> yeah, we'll put timestamps. But obviously, like we always do before we discuss everything else, I'll, I'll stop to the side with Sea Thieves. We're going to talk about the developer update first. We've already seen the video about uh, uh, twice for you, Lola, uh, second time for me. Me, uh, so... Yeah, yeah, but uh, thought we still talk about it to get some points across, especially certain issues that Leia has to <coughs> like fix. <coughs> Sheesh. And of course, talking about yeah, you. we we'll get to that in a second because um, I've actually encountered an issue um on this uh, that needs to get shown off. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, anyways, so without further ado, let's get into this week. Uh, this week is March 14th, 2019. Let's do it. Hello, everyone. Joe Neat, executive producer on Sea of Thieves, with another weekly dev update. So we've just relaunched the Insider program, and the aim here is that anybody can now opt in. They can take the opportunity to get involved in testing early builds of preview features, uh, provide feedback, and there's also a rewards program alongside this so that you can now earn cosmetics for taking part in that. Obviously, this is still under NDA, so it's super important that people keep everything confidential of what they're testing of kind of upcoming features. So please don't be sharing stories about them or screenshots or videos. Uh, it's super important this remains in our uh, insider kind of program and in the forums where you can share that uh, information and stories with each other. This step is really important for us as a team. Uh, the more people we can get feedback on, obviously that helps us in terms of shaping the features and delivering the right features to our players, but it also just helps us testing at scale. So the more people we've got playing in that Insider program, um, the more kind of eyes we've got on features and things prior to them going live so we can catch any issues or any, any unexpected kind of occurrences prior to it being delivered to the, the wider player base. We accept that by making the Insider program an opt-in process that there is some risk in terms of people leaking or sharing information that they shouldn't about upcoming features. But but we trust and we have faith in our community. So all of you that are watching at home and all of you that are potentially uh, wanting to come into the Insider program. Like, there is a really hard work in development team here at Rare that's... Did you... Uh, I didn't catch this the first time around, um, Laura, but did you hear that? They trust the community. That's a very, 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 very sensitive word to be using using with something like this, but uh, that's just something I noticed. Yes, yes, especially under NDA. In fact, uh, let me expand on that here. I know we're going to echo all, all this at the end, guys. Say it now. There have since been very few people that broke this NDA. Um, I mean, pre-launch, there was no rule-breaking at all. Um, then during the game being released, it used to be randomized, and you'd have to earn yourself into the program. And then, uh, you 
know, there was maybe a leak here and there. Now it's point where, oh, hey, I want to enter the public bill. Sign me up. <laughs> I'm going to leak stuff. Exactly. So for me, I use the word trust. Woo! I mean, I mean that's good. That's good that we trust the community. That's great. Great, but ugh, ugh, I don't know Microsoft. So that uh, that that's gonna be a test of time. Time. I'm not sure how good long that's gonna last. But like I said, I'm ever so glad to see a piece is in its early days. Days otherwise, if it's were well, getting that bigly boomed like Locket League or something. Oh, I'm not sure the NDA a trust would last all that long. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, so, again, we'll echo all this at the end, but just thought I'd touch on that real brief. Okay, continuing. Working on features, and, you know, they want those features to be revealed in the right way and to the kind of broader audience when, when they're ready and in the way that we want to talk about them. And there are players in our community that maybe don't want to get involved early. They don't want to kind of find out what's coming until it's ready to come out and it's revealed in the right way. So, like, just think about that. If you're going to come into the Insider program, you're going to take the opportunity to get hands-on with kind of upcoming features, then please do that in the right way, in the right spirit, and just think about that um, if you're tempted to kind of share information outside of it, because it does spoil things for a number of people from the team that's working here to people that don't want to know about this stuff. So if anyone does decide to leak information or share things that they shouldn't have from the Insider program, obviously we will be revoking those privileges because there is an NDA in place. So you won't get the opportunity to test and give feedback on, on future content. And there is plenty of ways and tools that we have to identify people that are responsible for leaking. So like before you do it, think about it and ultimately don't do it because we will find you. We also recently announced that from March the 15th to the 18th, we're running our first gold and glory weekend. So for anything that you cash in with any of the trading companies, you'll receive double reputation and double gold. So if, if you're kind of on that hunt to try and get to Pirate Legend before March the 20th, this is a really great opportunity to, to get involved and play and kind of level up those uh, different trading companies. So obviously next week, March the 20th, uh, is our first birthday for Sea of Thieves. Uh, and we've got a bunch of cool stuff to, to celebrate that. So the first thing is the mega update that we've talked about. So we're going to be releasing a trailer on March the 20th, which kind of shows uh, a lot of the key stuff that's coming in that. And we'll also reveal the the release date for that. So to clarify, the mega update is not being released on March the 20th, but we will be revealing what's in it and when that's going to be coming. And we'll also be talking a little bit about how we want to dig deeper into the different aspects that are coming mm. for this, because there's a lot of different things in it. And so we'll be releasing the trailer, but then we have a plan to kind of talk about and dig into uh, via a series of live streams. Now, Al, just so you know, guy, guys, the fact that they're not releasing it at launch, launch on the 20th is actually a sigh of relief for both me and Lola. Woo! Right. Um, now, we have to get into this for a little bit. We had to dig into this. Because uh, that's not, I mean, that's good marketing, but it's not very time convenient. Uh, for uh, us to specialize. Uh, yeah, I I mean we have no free live streams. Hmm? No, First, you... live streams. Have they been tr trying to get their numbers up? Was doing random giveaways of obscene set and whatever. Like he, 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 we both know that. And now he just said clearly that they're going to give out information, uh, some CFTs, uh, during, uh, the live streams. Not fair, rare, not very fair. <laughs> Sadly, no, not very fair. Well, Lola's opinion. <laughs> uh, that's why the cookie crumbles, but seriously, come on, don't backstab. Abbas, Abbas, oh well, it could be worse. Mm -hmm. But, but yeah, like Laura said, we have to dig into this a little bit, a little bit, like, really? Really? You made us panic for nothing? Ugh. <sighs> 
I love my yeah. I, the dream is going to be pyramid. It's and of course, uh, they're going to try to force everyone to be a. Yeah. Not cool. Not cool, yeah, not cool. I mean, I gotta watch the developed live streams anyways just to get the information to worry about the update launching that day, so thank you for not doing that. But at the same time, oh, come on. Come on, you're gonna take a time away from us like this? Yeesh. Yeah, nobody has that much time in the world. I, yeah, I wish, wish, if I had that much time, I used half of it, half of it to beat, eat all my games, and half of it to actually work on CFP stuff, but, life, <laughs> this ain't a leaf. Alright, continuing though, uh, this is getting closer to the issue that we mentioned earlier, so, get ready for some Lola Rage. Uh, for all of the different features that are coming as we lead up to the release uh, of that of that mega update. So that's going to be super exciting. Alongside the mega update, we're also just doing another game update next week on March the 20th. So I'll just go through a few of the highlights that are coming, but we'll reveal everything that's coming in that uh, next week on the day that we actually release. So firstly, there will be a new set of mercenary voyages coming with this, and they'll replace the existing mercenary voyages that are currently uh, in the game right now. So if you want the opportunity to get that Wandering Reaper cosmetic set, you're going to need to complete it uh, prior to March the 20th. But there will be a new Reapers run voyage coming to replace the existing one within that new mercenary set of voyages uh, coming next week. The Reapers run voyage that was uh, released uh, last week has actually been really popular. We've seen loads of great stories, loads of great kind of uh, adventures, battles and everything around that. So really excited to, to release another one into the world. So another couple of cool things are adding next week. Firstly, we're adding mouse and keyboard support on Xbox. So if you're playing on console and you want to uh, play with a mouse and keyboard, you're going to be able to do that uh, from March the 20th. Uh, and we're also adding chat pad support so again if you want to use the chat pad to text and manually type kind of messages and stuff uh, on xbox you'll be able to do that from march the 20th moving on to combat and as we continue to listen to feedback and evolve uh, player to player combat uh, one of the main bits of feedback we've got around this is um it, when we've put the delay in for equipping a weapon uh between you know when we're sw switching between weapons this also happens at the end of kind of a sprint so if you're sprinting and you've already got that weapon equipped when you come out of the sprint it plays the same um equip animation so okay about that where mm. Basically, and I, even with that delay alone, delay alone, you're not really doing a great job of, you know, because if people jump and switch, uh, that actually disables the animation. Basically, what she said said this was an exploit that she found out way after we released the full first combat battle patch. Not essentially cool, Rayo. They're not essentially cool. Cool. You're just setting up another exploit for the fans. And, uh, I mean, this is no problem for sword, or sword wielders since swording was kind of already balanced, really. But, uh, for gunners? Not cool, guys. Not cool. Come on. We have enough trouble with those gu guys. Skeleton wise, this is not. Uh, we don't need this in PvP. Yeah, yeah. You say you fix it. It's not really fixed, guys. Yeah, fixed with quotation marks. <sighs> Safi went off on a bit of a tangent, tangent, but it's just an annoying issue that needs to get solved solved before any more mega updates come out. Out or this is gonna be one uh, ticked off DJ. <sighs> Anyways, let's finish this up. Yeah. Let's finish this up. 
we've removed that delay now. So at the end of any sprint, you will be able to kind of instantly use the weapon that you've got. Uh, so yeah, really heard the feedback on that and that'll be in the March 20th build too. So that's just a few highlights of what's coming in the March 20th build. There is uh, some more stuff that we'll reveal next week, uh, but, but I just wanted to hit some of those few key points prior to next week. But that's it for me, I think. So we're obviously really excited about next week and about March the 20th to reveal everything we've been working on and how we plan to bring that to players. And really, you know, how year two of C of Thieves is going to be even more uh, kind of exciting than than the first year has been and we can't wait for the the new golden age of piracy to begin so we'll see you on the seas cheers okay guys so before 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 we get to anything else i want to let you know uh Laura and I are both insiders but we cannot talk about anything we have seen in the insiders program so I'm afraid our lips are sealed however what we can tell you is it's gonna be oh boy some of the stuff coming to see a thieves later oh boy oh boy oh boy fun but again can't yeah I can't tell you what so yeah. We, let's just say, let's just say, someone's speculation view is correct in this. Pretty much all we can say. <laughs> Pretty much all we can say. Uh, but yeah. Uh, as for what we haven't announced though, though, um, real quick prediction. I predict we're gonna get another tease for Rena. Rena. I mean. We haven't heard anything since the initial announcement, announcement at Experience. So, uh, somebody tells me we're gonna get 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 more information a lit if anything a little bit at least about about Arena because that's the next big update for CFEs. Right. Um. Now, and also, uh, I didn't touch on this uh, as during the dev update, but. You have mouse and keyboards for for consoles. Get it, guys. Get it, cause, cause. But I run mouse and keyboard for my game. Absolute best setup. Okay, no, no denying it. Mouse and keyboard the case, cause you have pre-done keybinds. You have um, actual chat support uh, for texting. Uh, and yeah, just bunch of improved stuff. Basically, roll over the game. Okay. Yeah. Here's the catch, though. In a modern day set setting, setting that sadly mean, means you need a USB mouse or USB keyboard. And while it'll still exist, they'll be mostly replaced by the Bluetooth stuff. Not the keyboard so much, thankfully, but the mouses. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, not even even gonna work work as the uh, Xbox One does not not support Bluetooth in any shape, way, or form. So, why keyboard? Uh, you're gonna need an old yet, hmm. yet, yeah, yet. Remember, they have so yet to add it. They Yeah, but at the time of this video or recording, unfortunately, Xbox does not support Bluetooth, so you're going to need an old-school USB key keyboard or mouse. Well, really, I think I should say old-school mouse, because keyboards, I've still seen plenty of USB ones. In fact, in fact, I would say that's probably a mixture of Bluetooth and keyboard, but mouse, nope, 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 the cords are getting cut. So good luck, uh, good luck. If you already have one, well, like Laura said, what are you doing? Uh, don't sit around there like me, me playing on the controller. Troy, go get keyboard and mouse support, you goofs. Yeah, yeah, but uh, here's the thing: also, uh, I'm being told that wireless, even though it's convenient, yes, it's not the absolute best. You want actually wired, and it's sad that. They're not giving you that choice, you know? They're cutting the cords and not giving you a really good choice. Yeah. Like, yes, I enjoy having a wireless mouse here, but uh, that's only because I have a decade doggo sitting on my uh, PC right now. 
This is in Bluetooth. Okay. You're going to get a what anything. Make sure it has its own dedicated dongle to it or wired. Um, otherwise, uh, you're going to have issues. Basically. I mean, my Bluetooth headphones have had issues in the past, but I gotta say, out of all Bluetooth technology, I think that one's down to a pretty big science, although that was probably already from the start when headphones started to go wireless. Uh, but that's beside the point. Uh, like I said before, for, like I said before, if you want something, you're gonna need to get a dongle for it. It's just highly recommended. It is, like she said, it's very sad to see even Microsoft go that direction, considering... This is their con console. Heck, heck, I'm kind of sad to see a lot of a uh, lot of manufacturers go that direction. I'd rather see them still do USB because do you know how many many people still use USB keyboards? A lot, and I'm not just talking on PC. I mean in general. General, a lot of people use USB keyboards. Heck, I bet there's even some PlayStation players that use it. Use it for fighting games, games. So it doesn't surprise. It really surprises me to see that coming from Microsoft. That's not to say it's completely being abandoned, though. Razer has just recently released one themselves that actually is going to support keyboard and mouse. So at least they're one of the manufacturers that's still supporting USB support. But outside of that, unfortunately, prepare for the worst keyboard and mouse players. Enjoy it while you can, but. Like I always say, like Laura says, either a dongle or wired is your best bet if you want the best setup. So if you have any of that, that if you have wired, use it with your Xbox. Fox, don't let the feature go to waste. Waste. At least give it a whirl. Whoa, I'm willing to give it a try myself, but if you're going to be like, yeah, I have to pull my control, control over the stupid keyboard and mouse. Hey, I was like you once once when I was a Nintendo fan until I tried Microsoft and Sony. <laughs> Again. So, I know the feeling of not trying something new. Hey, just give it a try. I promise. Like Laura says, once you get onto it, you're hooked for life. Mm -hmm. uh, now, let's also uh, echo uh, what Joe said about this inside program. Uh... Okay, so guys, um, here's the thing about this NDA. You heard what I just said. No photos, no pictures, no nothing. And, and I didn't say, 13, you can't sign it, which means you're not eligible for, for the program. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. As he also said, that doesn't mean you can't share it with anybody. You're allowed to share it with other insiders. They have insider forums, forums, and obviously, if you're friends with insiders and stuff, you can talk with them, them as well. But outside of that, you're not to talk to anybody else. I repeat, anybody else about this. If, if, and if you think Microsoft's not going to track you down, as they said, they have tools to track you down, down. And if you lack a whole bunch of stuff, I'm pretty sure, sure they're going to do more than just revoke you from CFEs. They're going to revoke you more than likely from my, Microsoft and uh, Microsoft use in general. So I would probably say say you're gonna more than likely going to lose your account if you do this because something serious as that, that is not to be tampered with, especially if you're testing for a large update like this. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh, now, I've actually gotten opinions on this. Uh, p some are saying good. Uh, some are saying it's bad. But most people are looking at it negatively because, uh, as we said earlier, uh, more leaking is going to be possible here with it being open to the public like this. Well, 18 and plus uh, mature to me, but still. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if you heard Laura earlier, but just in case you did and Skype accidentally glitched out, uh, you have to be 18 years older, 18 years or older to do it. So if you don't have, if you're not 18 years years or older, I'm sorry, guys, but you're just gonna have to be like most games, game gamers, and be a patient person. 
know that's not easy in this day and age because you want things now, 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 now. So do we. But. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. So it's that, that instant gratification mechanism that um, developers use. But, um, of course, CZ uh, isn't always like that. There's uh, uh, just it's calm of sit back and chill for a moment. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah. Uh, but uh, like I said, like I said, Laura said, I seen it mostly in a negative light too. It's kind of disappointing to see that, but I can understand why. Right. And honestly, um, I uh, both ways. Um, me looking at sure that they're opening. Opening up for everybody to uh, get in there. It's good. Again, it's good. But but it's also really, really bad because, uh, um, again, leakers and leeches and anybody out before something bad happens. Um and unfortunately, it's like this in the main game, game too, where something bad happens and it's already too late. The damage has already been done. You couldn't get, they couldn't get there in time to stop it. Exactly. In fact, we're very lucky, lucky as to see if, as a very, as a open world game and an uh very online ish game game that we've had very little lack, and that's actually very ironically rare nowadays days. Cause as you've seen before, a lot of stuff gets data mined. So. I... Actually, there's been some data mining, um, uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, you heard what I said. There's damage already in the in the game. In fact, in the, the main, uh, uh, Microsoft doesn't brand them, but you, the community, brand them as toxic players. And again, as I said earlier, I ran into two of those people. And they are very bad. Yeah. Uh, that we're gonna make that separate video though, so uh, y you know we don't drag it on, or you know you're a little kid or something. Yeah, we'll keep that in a separate video for those who are interested about those two individuals. But if you run into who you think they are, please DM. Well. Laura, she would love to comfort you and give you and give you a little bit of comfort as well because what she went through and what she told me and what I saw it was mm, let's just say it's nothing I want I want to ever hear in my life again. That's all I'm gonna say. But without dragging it on, back to the insider program again, guys. Microsoft is giving you this trust with one of the biggest games, games or. Potentially biggest games ever. Don't crush it. Microsoft, you may think that Microsoft's not watching you, but I remind you, mind you, they're the owners, owners of Windows and Xbox. So they know what they're doing, doing when it turns. Right. And also, I've seen, I've seen another opinion last night where, uh, where someone thinks, and now this on Reddit, Steve News guy from someone on Reddit clearly said, where if it is open to the public, that the NDA has zero sense in itself. If it's open to the public like this, you 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 ever heard me? Zero sense. Now, obviously, yes, I do respect my NDA. And where you have the choice to, but um, to us, to some people, again, it just makes no sense. Uh, but clearly, um, if Rare is trying to be like Disneyland and, and uh, keep hush hush about everything, then yes, it does make a whole lot of sense. Okay, so you're in the wrong here from saying that it doesn't make sense. It does, guys. If you think about what Disneyland does, 
um, to keep their stuff as fraud, then, then uh, if you know that, then you clearly should not send the aiming to uh, Rare. Yeah, or if you worked in the game industry before, for 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 or and know what an NDA is, is let's say let's put it this way: way when Christian Whitehead signed upon Sonic Mania, you noticed that he took a bit of a dip, dip from talking talking to most Sonic hackers. Hackers, I mean that's in general knowledge, but he's mostly under NDA. I bet. But from me talking about his past hacking history, so I hate to say to say this, but it's kind of disappointing in that sense, since he is a very cool guy. So, yeah, that's what an NDA means, guys. You can't talk about any uh, certain things. So, if that does not make sense to you, then you need to get your brain checked. No offense, but you do. Okay. Now, uh, let's move on to, uh, let's move on to, uh, the community things. Um, probably by the time this goes up, um, it's pretty much done with, and it's not even worth participating. But let's just say it's the biggest game, biggest, uh, one of the biggest gaming parties, um, in both our lifetimes that, uh, both MC and I, there's this, uh, CC's community voyage going on, and there's a whole bunch of clues and stuff being passed around, but, um, as far as we know, uh, we're so deep into that now, because it actually started on Sunday, uh, next Sunday's the last day, uh, I honestly don't think we should really touch that now, because it's a little late for us to talk about it. Uh, if you're just go check out uh, JC Tattoo, Hitbox, Falcor, Crow's Nest, and all other those famous YouTubers. And, and ask them about because, uh, uh, yeah, we're a little late to talk about it now. Sadly, unfortunately, but like she said, said uh, because those guys are all worthy of a shout out anyways, I'll still leave links below in the description so you guys can check them out yourselves. Because regardless of uh, uh, content, uh, community party or not, these guys are worth checking it out. Checking out, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, go ask them. But uh, they also have, um, I believe it's single. Oh, but I could be wrong. Uh, they see have extra giveaways going on in their Discord, so uh, yeah, go check them out, guys. Uh, hit them up and tell them the go we were saying to you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, while you're at it, maybe get a couple pop, uh, get uh, get a couple pops for us. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, 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 okay, so um, also, for man themselves, as they said, they're doing something special for the community. Gold and glory, which after this recording goes up, me and Emma are hopping straight into it. It to get some grinding done. Done. Because you know know how hard it is to get the pirate legend. I mean, I'm not aiming for it right now, but... It's best to at least get a little bit higher. I mean, come on. Come on. You can't pass the opportunity on double the gold, and if you're going to use the... Oh, I'm too busy, excuse. What's wrong with you, dude? Dude, are you trying to say you don't want to at le least reach halfway? Yeah, which, by the way, uh, everyone knows halfway um, within the number is 25, but no, uh, in the CC's ranking, uh, according to uh, their early Committee's math is actually uh, 45. All right? So that's what it is. 45. That's halfway point. So you have a long way to go. And even after that, it gets, it gets really, really hard. Yeah. For those who are unaware or just new to CFEs or just diving in, in, first of all, welcome. And second of all, 
Woo! You lucky yo yo on the easy stuff. Just wait till get just wait until you get to about maybe level 30-ish. 30, 30, 40, 50-ish. That's when the brutal stuff starts. That's that's when it's the game starts kicking you in the rear. <laughs> Hard. Trust me, I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a yep. and that's a side um, of everything else. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, also starting this Saturday, uh, uh, Dread Pirate Duggar, however, he's a uh, his tag or whatever on Twitter. Uh, he's the host of Race of Legends, and he's hosting a March Madness tournament. For three weeks, um, there's a total of uh, what well, used to be ten crews, but now I think it's nine. I think because uh, the one guy uh, dropping a, a whole team is dropping now, so it's now it's now done. Ooh, interesting. Uh, registration is closed, so you can't go in there. The prize is. Uh, you know, props from nerve propellant, where, you know, all of you are crazy about nerve propellant, and there's stuff in the, the Etsy shop they have. Uh, but, um, if you didn't register, again, there's a chance uh, where you can actually get props for, for your stuff, too. Because, um, I don't know if it's still open or not, there's a packet challenge, uh, where if you... Every single match correct, or, you know, the closest thing correct on what happens. Do you predict every single thing right? You get a glowing skull from nerve propellant. Yes, and we're not talking like in-game here, guys. We mean a real-life, actual, well, close to the look-alike game, at least, uh, 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 glowing skull plaque. So if you're a big CFP fanatic, now they can love that type of stuff. Well, don't just sit around there, cause those things don't come cheap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think as their starting price for any of their props, like thirty dollars. Yeah. For CD stuff. Yeah. Not that that's too expensive, but in terms of a gamer gamer side. Woo! Not really. <laughs> uh, that's actually pretty expensive. Expensive. Trust me. I've seen t-shirts worse than this, but uh, I want some of the CFC C spot stuff so badly, but I can't afford it. Ding my, ding my wallet. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you're into March Madness or that type of stuff, well, there you go. There's that. Yeah. Also, uh, after this, uh, starting in April, uh, speaking of that, um, I am going to be alongside Doug and host the races along with him. Um, so, yeah, starting this April, you're going to see me a lot um, on his Mixer channel, um, along with uh, us. We're going to be, of course, live streaming. And, of course, this will be also be our way of bringing the races to you. Like, uh, say you can't find Doug or, uh, you know, you just can't get yourself over there. Hey, don't mind. Don't mind trying to find him. You can come over here, and I bet he's going to allow me to live stream the whole entire time. Yeah. Now, obviously, unfortunately, that can't apply to me. I would love to do the races every weekend, but, again... Things, things differ with me, so... Uh, but I can tell you this. When I am able to jump in, I will jump in with Lola. Lola, Lola I mix it, mix it to live stream as well. Just in case you have trouble finding Lola, it's even worse. Worse, but if you're having trouble with that, which you shouldn't, because we, ha I have both my mixer and Ethan's mixer linked down below. Well, so if you're having any trouble with that, then... Sheesh, someone doesn't leave the description. Like most people nowadays. <coughs> would kill you! Could would kill you guys! Just saying! <clears throat> Sorry, small hint. 
Uh, anyways. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Lace of Legends, uh, uh, Lace of Legends, if you haven't checked it out, oh my gosh. It's basically, basically pre-arena. I guess you could say that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, guys. There are all these these esports inside C C C teams right now in the public eye. Like you know that this is the biggest event in in it ever. Um, I mean that aside from solo, it's the biggest uh, one of the biggest events in the history C C. Yeah. Week. Yeah, definitely. And I should let you know, know that um um like I said, this is before Arena comes out, so the fact that people have actually already started to do stuff like this before the actual actual multiplayer com component comes out, I'm actually very excited to see where this goes. So if this can run aside arena, you know, well, Oh, and people say that Sea of Thieves is dead? That it has no uh, combat in eSports? Really? You got two options. The official and the non-official. Tisk, tisk, tisk. It's, some people have no appreciation for the spo uh, for sports. Yeah. Yeah, also, uh, because of this going... This uh, golden uh, people have started and have been giving loot sashes. Um, for example, um, our um, competitor on the map crew, they they are uh, weekly and even even on a rate daily basis now up to the twentieth. They are giving away loot sashes to to help our legend. Like, um, um, their, um, their first mate name, well, I think that's it, uh, he is, he has been selling around, collecting loot, then inviting people in, and giving it to, to them, so, so if you're one of the lucky people, woo, you are set. Pretty much what she said. And then, starting today, three... Three content creators, including one of our favorites, Fuzzy Bond. Uh, he paired up with two other people, and they're going to do random loops for the last three. But uh, you got to be RSVP, uh, which was, uh, I don't know if they closed it last night or whatever, but I know it starts today. And uh, uh, if you signed up, you have to go watch whoever's corresponding live stream it is. Uh, so to uh, be able to so the entire time, too. So don't just sit there and say, okay, I'm going to go grab a snack or what. They could go at any point in time, guys. So just a fair warning if you signed up. Yeah, so I would advise, advise if you're gonna get hungry, get get your snacks, get and stuff done beforehand, yeah, and and then wa get ready to watch the stream because like what you oh like she said, they can do it at any time, and if you go and get us go and do something something that will get distracted, acting and miss it, well, there goes your chance. Yep. Now it's gonna be one different, gonna be a different person over the three days, and they're calling it Operation Power Legend or Operation Legend. I don't know, but it's very cool, guys. You should do it if you haven't signed up yet. Hmm. Sounds very interesting. Speaking of which, which I got one final announcement announcement for today. In addition to the final clue for the musicals direct. Black dropping. Laura and I were talking earlier. Um, due to the Golden Glory weekend, because we want all our CFEs fans to be able to get all the Golden Glory, I am delaying the direct one day. So it's the 19th instead of the 18th. Yeah. 
So, apologies on that. Yeah, so, now you... So, apologies... Yeah, as MC was about to say, apologies, but we want to be nice to you, CCS fans, so you actually have time, and you don't have to pick and choose where to go and when. We don't want to split you guys up. No, no. We want everyone to be able to play together, do what they want to do, and then then they can watch the direct with us. Exactly. So, yeah. Uh, this gives me an extra day to prepare, of course. course, course, so I won't have to worry about that. But, yeah, so just a heads up. That means I will be re-uploading the channel to let uh, the wider audience know. But just fought, fought for you guys. Guys, I'll let you guys know that way. Hmm? Uh-oh. Hold on. Hang on, gang. Sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry about that. It, it's okay, Lola. Anyways... As I was say saying, so yeah, we're gonna make sure all you see thieves got, uh, see thieves got, I think got your backs covered, don't worry. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, I hope you guys are excited for Godless, Godless for this, because this is gonna be a big one. As always, Laura's gonna be dropping a little bit of news about Sea of Thieves. We don't have too much to announce, unfortunately, like we said, Silence Call's kinda on a standstill to further notice. <laughs> Thanks, Lola's College. Hey, uh, of course, there's stuff we can't talk about, but secret and leave behind the scenes. Either there. Hmm? Uh, so yeah, there's a lot to do. Yeah, so... Okay. Yeah, so we're definitely going to be talking about that. But speaking of behind the scenes, uh, real quick, quick before we end it off for today, I wanted to talk briefly about what we're going to be doing that's going to be different from this Aviva's uh, Tavern next week. So as I mentioned before, we're going to be doing this one live. So as soon as the developer update goes live, we will be going live uh, via Google Hangouts, um, and you guys will be able to join in and watch us, and then we're going to be talking about, obviously, the dev update first, and then not just all that information and all the reactions and all that, but we're also going to be talking about the first whole year of Sea of Thieves, Thieves and what we've enjoyed, what we haven't enjoyed, and give you a little bit of background on how Silence Call came to be and all that, and how things, things work behind the scenes, so... It's going to be a big one. That's why we decided to go live instead, instead for this one, since we're going to be live for quite a couple hours. Yep. Yeah, because this alone... We know... Uh, yeah, for an hour alone, it's... Uh, quite a bit for one of us does the recording. It's a... It's, uh, Very, very big file. No yeah. Yeah, so. This, aside for the anniversary and specifics, we're just going to do do it that way. Uh, but regardless, though, I hope you enjoyed the, today's uh, Phoebus Tavern. Sorry, it's a day late. 
We try not to do that, do that, but I promise you, promise you, we are working on it. At least I've been uploading it faster and faster, so I'm getting there. Uh, but um, yeah. All right, guys. We will see you uh later on on this Friday. Um, uh, uh later on, yep. later on next week for the Musicals Direct, and also for our Fever's Tavern next week. Week. Um, and uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day out on the seas. Uh, see you in. I hope to see a lot of you insiders in the Insider Program. We'll be around too. Um, and for now. <laughs> This is yours truly. Uh, hold on. Yours truly, DJ Music Clues. And Lou Lally of the Go Here signing out. And y'all have a nice gaming day. Bye! Or, bye. <laughs>